Hello, welcome back, or welcome to DIS. I am this idiot, and you're hearing me speak again. Or for the first time. Hmm, pardon. Today we are going to do some lore crafting around the uh, subclass that I uh, reviewed on Wednesday. Uh, the subclass being the sorcerer subclass called the Winter Touched. Now, before I said Winter Born, I and mean, it was before that episode, like the sa Saturday one, but it is the Winter Touch. I did the Winter Born. Uh, but anywho, we're doing going to be doing some lore crafting around it, um, which should be interesting. Um, so a little, um, wow, words and things are important. Oh, a little uh, background into, or a recap of the Winter Touch itself. Um, the subclass is a sorcerer subclass where you're blessed with or given the powers of winter um, to, uh, let's see here, you can, at high levels, you can turn into an embodiment of winter, you can cause like ice and snow to be frozen behind you, um, you can deal more ice damage or cause spells to deal ice damage. Or you can create a mantle of ice around you to protect you, or shape ice around you, and, or, um, and you can also slow people down when you deal cold damage to them, which is cool. Um, so that's a lot of different ice stuff. Um, and thinking of lore around this, um, what's cool with sorcerers are those, these are like born, either born with or blessed with, so there's already lore in there where it's either maybe you sur somehow survived a harsh winter and the frost seeped so far into your bones and your uh, body that it permeated into your soul and now you have these strange ice powers. Um, it could be you're just somehow magically born with it, kind of like Elsa in Frozen. Um, Although her powers are, she's like a level 20 sorcerer or whatever, um, because she's so powerful. But besides that, yeah, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone from like the Arctic Pole or in winter, um, maybe uh, some kind of fae, bless them with it just for fun, and you have to deal with it. Um, but I feel like... With any of these, uh, the winter touched sorcerer, however prevalent it may be, they probably would get uh, titles around them, and there could be like um, like rumors ar about them, like maybe the farmers having heard of the person's, the individual's arrival, they would be like, "Hey, we'll pay you to just not do anything around our like livestock or our." farms so that we can continue farming it um, or uh, stuff like that or maybe helping to thaw things or cool things down maybe uh, you uh, you create your own ice creating business that um, to help chill different um, uh, drinks or different foods or whatever um, that could be an interesting, like, that could help to, um, bring out the prevalence of Winter Touch, because you can create, um, different things. Maybe you become kind of like a Jack Frost, where you're kind of, in the winter times, you're skatering around trying to make people have fun or enjoy the season. Um, or it could even be something with, like, the elemental forces are out of whack and you're uh, given the power uh, given the power of ice to deal with the heat of fire to combat that to help cool it down or whatever um, let's see here um, in a low magic setting I would say it's definitely more um, the uh, anybody who has who is a winter touch sorcerer whether a player character or a non-player character, they would probably be, for the most part, um, treated with, like, 
a modicum of like respect and fear because you know any ice that would you, you could you could easily destroy someone's livelihood with ice um, either cooling down their furnace or forge or destroying their farmland or freezing their cattle or whatever so you have a you're treated with yeah there's like a greater amount of respect and stuff for you for that that would be interesting for higher magic settings I feel like people would have um, since there's more um, a little more like mm, magic technology around then people would see you for more for your usefulness for keeping things cool or keeping things safe during transit if it's like maybe there's a volatile potion but it's fine when it's like below a certain temperature maybe you can, can you can be hired to freeze keep it frozen while it travels from one city to the next or whatever um, that would be interesting um, anything else? Um, you could also say that, um, help be, like, messengers for, like, a group of, I, uh, like, a little, uh, collection of islands where you can just, like, dash across the, um, the surface of the water, keeping it frozen behind you so you can walk across it, um, using your, uh, glacial glide? glacial path um that would be really cool um anything else um but yeah i think that would be cool this is okay it's a little longer it's fine um i feel like there's a lot of stuff you could do with this um maybe at higher levels people like yeah tr treat you more like a divinity or whatever because of your innate powers um and people if you if you if you become if the player character or non-player character becomes like uh tries to protect other people like um slowing down advances of armies or whatever invaders then people would uh, treat you with better respect than like fearful respect um and I feel like that's with anything. Um, 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 you could also become a um, helpful, uh, maybe kind of guide in like any hot and arid environments, like a desert, as you keep try to keep things cool with your frost magic uh, or winter touch magic. That would be interesting. Um, anything else? Anything else? Um, yeah, anything, uh, to kind of balance out the heat of environments or to slow the advances of any enemies or, uh, freezing a path so that you can walk up across water. Um, or you could even be a guide in the winter in Arctic conditions. Um, like shaping glaciers or um, the frozen tops of um, the waves so that people can go through or can fish or whatever um, that that would be that'd be nice um, I feel like there could be a lot of uses for this um, anything else um, I feel like that might be about it for the lore crafting um, pretty cool lore crafting I feel I don't know why I feel like I need to do this fast. Um, but uh, join me on Wednesday for the Warlock Patron of um, the Orphan, I want to say. Yeah, the Orphan Patron, which should be an interesting one. Um, that could be cool lore as well. Um, uh, because it's more, yeah, can be very flavorful. Um, you can... Go ahead and check out my YouTubes and my uh, little world snippets as of, uh, uh, right, uh, as of, not as of posting, but as of uh, videotaping this. So as of posting it, it will be the last, uh, last Tuesday. I'm starting to create another world, um, along the same theme, kind of, 
as my first one. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below or email me um, along with commenting down below any lore that you would craft around this um, or any interesting thoughts around the Winter Touch Sorcerer. Um, along with if you want to comment down below or email me about joining my team to create better and better quality videos, maybe more videos too, depending. Um, anything else, um, of course I want to uh, give a shout out or uh, keep uh, in our minds the idea of the bar inspired, uh, the D bar inspired, D &D inspired bar idea that my younger sister has. Um, that'll, that's gonna be in the future, but keeping that on our minds so that we can maybe talk, keep talking about that. Um, let's see here, anything else? Not that I can think of. If there is anything else that you want to talk about or anything, let me know. I'd be hope oh, I'd be more than happy to talk about that uh, next week or on Wednesday. We'll be talking about the warlock. That should be interesting. And I think that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget. Uh, please uh, like, uh, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, um, click the notification bell, and everything that. YouTube like so I can you know get more viewers and stuff if you want to share this with anybody that you can think of uh, that would be wonderful too um, and I think that's about it my uh, previous episode the one of the winter touch sorcerer so if you want to see uh, actually see the review of that and anything there and the channel subscription or channel page um, I don't think there's anything else. I will got, see you guys in the next video for the Warlock patron of the, uh, the Orphan patron, or patron orphan, whatever that's called. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Dis idiot out.